Well, I've got all the form blocks built, with the exception of probably a couple for the tail cone. I think I've got, I know I've got one left to do. But uh, everything's all sanded smooth other than those. Um, I've got some, some of my original form blocks. I've got instrument panel and two of the bulkheads back there that I'm going to utilize. There wasn't any, I didn't notice any difference in sizing for those. Those were perfectly acceptable. The two that I had to build new form blocks for, which were um, the instrument panel and main spar mounting bulkhead and then the rear spar bulkhead, which is the seat back. Why I built new form blocks for those, they're all sanded smooth uh, inside and out. They're all completed to the same stage that I've got these wing ribs to and the rest of these bulkheads. All I'm doing is marking rivet lines along the edges of these bulkheads. Then all of these forms will go back out to the router table and I'm going to route an eighth inch radius on the upper edges of these all the way around. I think all the way around. They may not need it on the nose pieces here. Um, I'll have to check and see if they do or not. But we'll go back and check the prints before we do that. But that's kind of what I'm working on today is just getting them getting them to that stage then my form blocks are done so then we'll go back to working on a few other little bits and pieces for this probably I do have to balance this with actual work that I have to do and and my other project the 701 I've got some Atlas parts that I'm working on so I've gotten to the point where I consider everything that I'm doing on back here in the airplane factory whether it's on this one whether it's on the 701 all I'm doing is playing right now I consider it all to be playing because it's a little bit of a relaxation from all the other crap that goes on in the in life and in the world so anyway this is what we're up to today set up the router table we've got our depth set and we're just going to route an eighth inch round over both top and bottom on these
Okay, I've got two more form blocks to run around that. And uh, then we'll go in and look them over a little closer. Take them inside and look them over. All our wing ribs. Now see, I'll take these and just very lightly hit these edges with a piece of sandpaper. Make sure we've got a uniform radius all the way around on both sides because these will be a left and a right. Then I can go ahead and break down the, the router out there. My little router table is just a table that I scrounged up and just mounted a fixed router base underneath and I wanted to uh, start this build with a nice router table but by the same token I don't have room for it so uh, this was a good compromise and it works fine you see me only present it on one side because you know if something's not completely flat or bowed a little bit something like that why you'll get a more uniform radius if you just present it from one side of the router or along one path so you start using the whole table to swing it around and everything and pretty soon you got some that are shallow and some that are deeper and things like that but anyway, that's the way they look like, or that's the way they look. When we go to these rear ribs, they've all uh, 
got a joggle in them, top and bottom, except the first station, 12.5 12 I believe it is. And, um, you know, the rest of them on the mid ribs have got a, or the rear ribs have a joggle here because this will fit up inside the spar, the main spar. So that's the way that goes. And let's see what other pearls of wisdom do we have when we uh, when we look at these? Why it doesn't always look like there's quite as much a radius on this side. That's because it's held up by the plastic. So it's still got the radius. It's just on the the plastic too. So anyway, I don't know exactly how many hours I've got in these. Now I did have oh what uh, one two three three bulkheads already done and I think I've got two small tail cone bulkheads yet to do um, so I didn't have to take time to build those although I did verify dimensions and I do have the drawings for them if I for some reason decide they're not what they need to be uh, these two bulkheads still need jig holes drilled in them here here and up there I think on both sides and then here and one in the center there uh, one on each side and then we've got a diameter a 3 8 diameter hole here that I'm not too concerned about, although I will go ahead and pilot that so it's done with uh, when I set the blank up. And then I'll open it up to final dimensions once everything's formed. Uh, these two jig holes align with the um, wing brackets that mount the wing on. So I talked about that before. They're the center, center jig holes, I believe, or the center uh, bolt holes out of the six that are on there, six or seven that are on there. So that's where they go. I don't know exactly how much time I've got in these um, in these form blocks and of course I built form blocks before so it goes fairly quick and if you've got the right equipment to do them why they they uh, crank out pretty fast but uh, I don't imagine I've got more than oh probably 16 or 18 maybe 20 hours in a complete set of form blocks like I say that is minus some bulkhead fittings but um, even if we just figure all the complete wing fittings, so, or the wing forms, so it doesn't take that long. I'm going to take my old set of forms and I will figure out what I'm going to use for them for, I'll use part of them for backer plates when we form the aluminum around this. Um, the rest of them are going to go probably into the, into the fireplace. So they, um, they're not something I'm going to keep around just to, just for the sake of having them around. You know, these are the ones that I'm building off of. So these are the only ones that I really need. So anyway, that's the progress for the day. Um, I still got to check a couple of couple of other little things and figure out where we're gonna what we're gonna do on these uh, on these bulkheads that I built. You only flange them one way, so it was only necessary to flange them probably on this side. Is the side that I would have flanged them on. I uh, went ahead and and or radius. So I went ahead and radius the other side just for the simple ease of handling and keep them from chipping on a sharp edge or something like that. So it'll protect the bottom edge a little bit more. But in the real scheme of things, it didn't make a bit of difference. So anyway, that's what I got on my little update today. Comments, suggestions, leave them in the comment section for me below, guys. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch.